Okay, um, I've actually managed to remove the internal parts from this end type. So uh, I'm just going to show you now what the other pieces are. I'm just doing the other end of the cable now. So you notice we've got the pin here with the lower ring. And then this is what the upper ring looks like. And this is the same both sides. I don't believe there's a recess on this at all. Um, so it's just a, a thicker ring. So again, uh, we'll start off from the beginning. Got all the pieces here. We're going to start off by cutting a piece of coaxial uh, RG213. I'm just going to cut off the outer jacket. And again, I'm just squeezing gently till I feel it start touching the braid. Wiggle the outer jacket off, like so. That's great. <clears throat> Out a nut on, washer on, like so, and the rubber or neoprene grommet. Now these are actually quite tricky to put on if you've already stripped the outer jacket. Should have really put this on first, but it will go on there. Um, it just is a bit trickier. There we go. So we've got the three parts on here. We're now going to spread the braid. Okay, top hat for the compression, and again that just goes straight over the dielectric. We give that a push on with a spanner or something small that will fit around it nicely. Make sure that bottoms out so it gives a nice tight pinch on the braid because that is the uh, you know the the outer connection if you like the the braid connection. Okay, again, we're going to take off the braid, any excess braid, make sure that you trim it off flush so none of it can actually reach in and short out. So as we go around here, I'm just trimming it off as best I can. And better to be a bit shorter than longer. Try and make sure there's no loose pieces because again that's a, a risk of shorting things out okay just tweaking it just to see if there's any other long bits and there, i can see a couple of long bits now so again we'll get those i've seen people fit these where they just fold the braid back and uh, I, I don't know whether they have problems with that or not but i wouldn't recommend it I'd recommend trimming it flush as we're doing here. <laughs> okay, so let's remove the dielectric again. Uh, sharp knife, mine's starting to go a bit blunt. I'd recommend changing the blade if it is blunt. This will be the last one I do with this blade because I can really feel it starting to be uh, require a lot of force, and that's when you slip. So. I'm just going to wiggle this back and forth to pull it off. Actually, I find these work a bit better. Uh, just here, I'm not actually clamping down on the inner conductor. I'm just literally putting it through the hole and letting the hole pull off the outer sheath without touching the inner conductor. So, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, so that's a nice, neat job there. Everything's down nice and tight. The next step is the... Where are we? There we go. We've got the pin. This is going to sit on top and then we're going to solder. So again, I'm just judging the length and I believe it was about six millimeters height that we wanted. So again, I've, I've cut it long just to make sure that we don't end up too short. I'm going to try it again. There we go. So that's sitting nice and flush. And now we solder. And this is actually a pin I had attempted to solder previously on another cable and then aborted it. Um, so there is a bit of solder sitting on this connector. So I'm just going to be conscious of uh, conscious of that. So here we go again. 
and I'm just going to carefully do this. So a bit of solder on the iron and then straight in there. Again, whilst trying to hold it on. Which is harder than it looks. Let's put something next to it. Right, there we go. That's a bit of a messy job because of the solder that was already on there, but I don't really have an easy way of cleaning that up, so... Right, <clears throat> let's see if that's on there securely. Which it is. Okay. So, there we go. Pins on. The top washer goes on. Now, this is the bit that might be an issue, simply because there's a lot of solder on the edge. So I'm just going to use a, a spanner to squish it down. This spanner is a bit too big. Let's use a small one. Okay, good. Right. So that's gone on nicely now. And then the top body is going to go over the top. And we're going to make sure that this seat's properly all the way in. And uh, it's going in slowly but surely. And I'm just rotating it as I put it in just to try and get a bit of the leverage. My main concern is I want to make sure it bottoms out, which it feels like it has now. So, yeah. So uh, I've pushed that all the way on. It's, take, it's been a bit firm because of uh, the solder getting in the way of everything. But that, that's definitely bottomed out now. And... The next step is to just get it uh, tightened up. So I'm just going to use these channel locks to hold it. 17mm <clears throat> spanner to tighten it. And away we go. Just trying to do this so that you can see what I'm doing. Starting to get nice and firm, which is good. So, yep, yeah, good. Okay. So that's all the way on, nice and tight. I'm now just going to test it with an ohm meter to make sure we've got continu continuity from pin to pin in the centre, and also that the bodies are connected for the ground. So I'll do that now, and uh, thank you very much for watching.